Springfield School, Jersey. As in many schools, maths has traditionally been resistant to improvement until now. One form entry, mixed ability, this school is like thousands of others. We're sharing a maths lesson with the new year one. Today, it's place value. Let's meet the team. Linda Crawford, class teacher, assisted for maths by Rebecca Hosking. Behind the scenes, watching every move and listening on their radio headphones, our experts Richard Dunn, maths consultant, and Ian George, mentor for maths teaching. Everybody, point to the resources table. Good. Point to the maths table. They will use the maths table and the journey from the resources table to visualize calculations or math stories. They do this by moving cups or cards between the resources table and the maths table. Right, I need a helper. <sighs> Please be my helper. Well, we, we want the children to come and actually have a go to really live maths, to feel maths, so they really understand and get the whole concept of doing it. Get ready to help me. Get ready to help me. I'm going to write the math story. You're going to act the real story. But I'm not going to use my voice. I'm going to write <coughs> the math story and Ruben is going to act the real story. Have a look. Well, we start off with the children actually moving the cups, physically moving them from the resources table to the maths table. That's a real story. It's a real thing that happens. Look what I'm going to write now. The math story is how we'd write that down mathematically with mm. symbols. So we'd write the symbol three, the symbol add, yeah. the symbol two, etc. That makes a math story. A sum, a line of symbols is a math it's story. It's a math story, yep. I'm going to write this, you're going to act it. This wagging of the fingers really important. It kinesthetically and dramatically reinforces the equal sign. It's good with the equal sign. I mean, it seems that Linda's decided he needed some help, but he's actually seeing it as being interpreted as count the cups. From my experience of teaching that, that's one of the signs which is easily oh. neglected oh, uh, yes. uh, as having a purpose, uh, and that action is giving it a, a very direct purpose indeed. Yes. yes. Ruben, how much is there here? Five cups. Give him a clap. <laughs> the children sitting in rows to do the math scheme uh, is not a Victorian concept. Uh, the children have to learn, they need to lay the foundations uh, for a fundamental understanding of the mathematical concepts. I think it's important for the children to have a balance of different ways of teaching so mm -hmm. that this method of teaching with the children in rows where it, it is quite formal is formal direct teaching we would only ever do that for short very paced yeah. spans of time I'm going to speak Miss Hoskins is going to write and Reuben is going to act Reuben come out Reuben second time He's been having a few problems, so demonstrating will help him. Three cups add two cups. The whole class are, are, are constantly being asked to, mm. to, to help articulate and mm. to observe, mm. so everybody's involved in different ways. And it's the same with really big numbers. Reuben, suppose you've got to take 3,000 cups from the resources table to the maths table. 3,000 cups, take them. We encourage Ruben to come along and pick up this big number so, that, so he really gets a feeling for what we're doing. Because the number obviously is just like three and thousand, so he uses the action to emphasize how much there is and then carries it over. What's the number? Three. What's the word? Thousand. Thousands. Act that, Ruben. This is a remarkable word, isn't it, now? You can see the children are not inhibited about mm. working with mm. such a big number as 3,000 yes, yes. or 2,000. Mm. It's just a, a, another yeah. denomination for them yeah. Yeah. Uh, and quite easy. What's he doing? Get ready. Get ready. 
getting ready, ready to get some more. Oh, good. Brilliant. What's really interesting here is that he's very clear about the ad sign, meaning getting ready to get some more, yeah. and raise his hands appropriately. What's the word? That's true. Take them over to feel the weight. Oh. Wait for the next part, Reuben. What's the number? <laughs> What's the number? Five. 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 What's the word? Thousand. Thousand. I'm going to speak a math story, Miss Hoskins. Mm -hmm. You're going to write okay. a math story. You're going to write a math story. The underlying thing here is that they're being inducted into the very logic of mathematics. That 3,000 is understandable from the small result three yes. add to it, etc. And that's really quite different isn't it? of, of um, first of all immersing them in the illogical language of 11, 12, 13, yes. 14 and so on, where the, the words themselves obscure yes. the logic that math can offer. We're going to read the math story. Three thousand add two thousand equals five thousand. We can do that with hundreds, can't we, Miss Hoskins? Yes, can. Three hundred add two hundred equals five hundred. Fantastic. Well done. The scheme that we're using now actually encourages children to think and it uses the important elements of visualisation, articulation and reinforcement. The maths in school is is taking on a real excitement at the moment. There's a buzz in school, the children are enjoying it, the staff are enjoying it. And I think the continuity running right through uh, is one of the major aspects of, of what we're doing in maths. OK, tell me what this says. 90. What does this say? 70. This is really good because Linda's now taking this aspect of uh, denomination uh, mm. uh, to another stage. She's introducing um, cards, mm -hmm. uh, so children aren't just associating number with, with the cups, sure. but she's also introducing this aspect of T mm -hmm. uh, as the zero on a two-digit number yes. uh, as, as being articulated as T, yes. which is allowing children to access 9T. Yes. And again, they see the T as a separate yeah. denomination. Mm -hmm. Is there here? Two. Well done. I'll ask Miss Hoskins to put these on the maths table. Miss Hoskins put three T on the maths table. What does this say? For year one children who are in their sixth week of year one mm. and they're working with two digit numbers mm. quite confidently, quite accurately, yes. with different levels of assistance, yes. Uh, yes. they're enjoying their maths. Yeah. Equals five. 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 Well done. Read the math story. Three T and two T equals five T. Break time, at least for the children. Linda's getting Rebecca up to speed on where this is all heading, getting the children to progress to vertical addition. Before we go to uh, the children who can do three T two, Right. Add 2t1. Yes. Equals 5t3. 5t3. Yeah. So that they well can keep before up. the end of the term, we're leading to 3t2. Add 2t1 with the equals as a big yeah. math table. Okay. So that mm, the whole class will be able, be able to, to move on at the same time. Brilliant. So, what Linda intends doing, as I understand it, is to go from this horizontal thing, which is the left to right sentence structure, yep. into the vertical where you go two add one is three. It, it, it works really, really well. Yeah. And, and in fact, that the, the visual representation with the cards is only needed for, for quite a short time. Right. By the time the children have transferred this onto a vertical calculation, yes. they can explain exactly what, what each of those numbers represents. Yeah. So when they look at the three T, they never say it's a three. Five. Brilliant. How much is there here? How much is there here? How much is there here? Good. How much 
How much is there here? Two T. Two T. Good. How much is there here? One. I think the ostensive learning mm -hmm. happens there when the the unit, the single digit, comes over the zero that represents the T. Yeah. But it's still it's there. It's still there behind it, yeah. And 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 they'll practice that lots and mm -hmm. lots and lots. We know that three T add two T equals five T. Well done. And we've got two Linda's progressing the lesson on now. She she's introducing uh, a, a math story of 3t2 mm. add 2t1. Mm. At this point here, the, the children are being asked to uh, articulate what they can see. Yes. Uh, in terms of what each number represents. 5t3. Brilliant. Well done. Children, I'd like you to have a go writing this math story. From a teaching point of view, the, the fantastic thing about this is, is that, that children are, are confidently working within the concept of place value, yes. but they're not being taught place value. Yes. The, the, the place valueness of it uh, is implicit sure. in what they're doing. Yeah. And at, at no point are we saying, right, today we're going to learn about place value. Yeah. Traditionally, when we've done this in the school, that this is where we lose a lot yes. of children. Yes. How much is there here? Oh, Done. Really good. How much is there here? The unusual language of T avoids a lot of confusion, but needs embedding. What happens when they get to naught? Yeah. How much is there here? Naught. Patricia's still a bit shaky, so Linda assists her, getting her to demonstrate. How much is there here? Forty. How much is there here? Six. How much is there? Here. 46. Tyler, how much is there here? 64. How much is there here? 4. How much is there here? 60. How much is there here? 64. Thank you. Tell me on the board. How much is there here, Tyler? Probably the most exciting thing is her movement from the use of the concrete objects of cups, which are movable, yep. into the symbolic objects of the cards. Yes which more symbolic are still movable, eventually to the written symbols on the board, which are no longer movable, yeah. except in your imagination. I love teaching it. I think it's great. Um, I like the way it's got a lot of actions, a bit of drama in there. And I think the children respond well to it, therefore they, they learn quickly, don't mm -hmm. they? The changes that we've seen in the short time that we've actually uh, been running the scheme is the children are becoming far more confident. They are enjoying maths across the board, uh, and the teachers seem to be enjoy teaching more. Because mm. the children become skilled very quickly mm -hmm. with this method of teaching maths. When the children acquire the skills and a real understanding of those skills, they feel confident, so yeah. they feel better. Hence, they enjoy their maths. Mm -hmm.